All right, so let's get into talking about the Hango X new upgrades, what they got going on in their platform. So first and foremost, right now we're using hankotrade.com. If you guys aren't familiar with it, you can check that link down below and sign up. But this is what I'm using to do my small growth account that we basically started at $250. Did add a little bit more to it. So total, we put a total of, I think 12 to $1,400 in the account and got it over to $10,000. Video on that, once again, check that out too. So let's talk about this platform. So basically, as you come on your left hand side, there's a couple of new little features they added, which of course, I believe I mentioned this before where you are able to pretty much add your favorites and your top whatever assets to the charts. I always say stick to three. So you guys will see three of mine here. This is my other account. So this account, I do trade S&P, but also NASDAQ actually is what I trade now. But as you guys see here, we pretty much have less oil and so forth. Now, when it comes to me trading, you do have the option to do one click trading. However, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of one click trading as far as the aspect of me seeing the charts, even though I use a third party platform like trading you to also do my analytics. I prefer to go with this option only because I'm able to select the screen like this. I'm literally able just to select that chart and I can just quickly go to that if I really want to. But I, what I'm going to do is just paste, uh, place a small buy and small sell just to show you guys pretty much what I am talking about. So let's say like here I'm looking to buy. I can come over here and just hit buy and then I can obviously select market execution buy stop buy limits. Also same thing with sell limits as well. But of course, I'm gonna just go ahead and buy and I'm gonna go ahead and place the buy. Now they have this cool feature on here where you're now able to pretty much use this platform and adjust your take profits within the charts. So for instance, if I wanted to do that, it's quite simple. All I do is come to add it here. And then on the right hand side, you will see take profits. You'll also see your trailing stops and you'll also see your stop loss. Go for the take profit. Nice thing is usually you will enter the, the number here. However, instead of doing that, you can just drag and drop it. So if I just wanted to drag, not really drop it, but drag it to let's just say this is pretty much what I'm looking to do my TP. I just hit modify trade and pretty much I'm all in the trade now. So the cool thing about that is once again, I'm now locked in this trade. I'm now able to obviously let that hit my TP without me having to do too much. Same thing goes for stop loss. If I ever wanted to change it, I can come right back here to add it. I can even do trailing stop loss or I can just do stop loss and it'll be the exact same thing. I can put my stop loss maybe down here if I want to hit modify trade. And then now you see my stop losses added in here as well. Now they have this option called hedge position. So this is obviously if you have a fairly large account and you kind of buy and sell at the same time, I highly suggest clicking that and pretty much being locked in. I'm not going to do that whatsoever, obviously for obvious reasons, but other than that, you do also have to keep in mind that there is a area for you to check the news. If you guys are interested in doing that here, I always just say Forex factors is the most easiest way to do it. You don't have to do too much here, but just obviously check the calendar, check the news. But if you're like me and how easy that Forex factors look cool, then you can definitely go that route. But pretty much that, that part applies there. Then other than that, just to recap on my last video of what I talked about is you do have your actual time frames here. So we got all your time frames here, daily, weekly, and so forth. They have this option called the view option, which I thought is pretty cool. You can save your view. So for those that likes trading on a five minute, 15 minute only, or the one hour only, what you can do is hit the one hour and then you can actually hit save view. And then when you do that, you can just say one hour. This is something that I actually just noticed and I started doing myself. So now when I come to views, I can go to my five minute, go to my 15 minute and I can go to my one hour. So pretty much, I thought that was pretty cool. Studies, of course, this is just all of your actual indicators you can add to the charts if you want to do that. And then your events is if you want to add any events, call outs or anything like that, you can do that all here. So that being said, that's pretty much what the platform offers now as far as the upgrades. You do see also your profits, your actual losses all in the charts now. So I thought that was pretty cool. But once again, if y'all not subscribe, subscribe. And then if you guys aren't a part of Hango Trade, you can definitely tap in with Hango X and start making some profits. 
make sure you tune into our discord community too so you can get in with everything that we got to offer there all right peace